Hi, I'm Chad Armstrong, Senior Designer at Crystal Dynamics, and I'd like to talk to you guys about our interactive broadcasting. First thing I'd like to talk about is card voting. We have a card system that is used in our expedition mode, such as score attack and chapter replay. And spectators on Twitch are able to vote for cards that are activated in the middle of a gameplay session. These cards remain active until five minutes pass or the player dies or a checkpoint is reloaded. Many of our cards are meant to be advantageous, while some are challenging, and others are just meant to be entertaining. The big head mode card, for example, is pretty self-explanatory. Another example is Rainbow Trail. Like the card suggests, Lara has a rainbow trail behind her, because why not? Another example is Timequake. Timequake creates a bubble of slowed time around an enemy who's killed with a headshot using a bow. This time allows you to line up your next shot, or move in close and deliver a melee kill to whoever's left. It's worth pointing out that you don't actually have to have these cards in your inventory in order for them to activate. The uncorked card also has a special effect when you score a headshot. With uncorked active, the headshot creates a colorful and powerful explosion that takes out other nearby enemies. The gas trap card has a chance of creating a poisonous cloud around an enemy you kill. This cloud will devastate any other nearby enemies and is great for clearing out groups at once. Something else you might have noticed throughout the video is the title bar across the top and bottom of the screen. We call that the broadcast frame. The broadcast frame can be turned on at any time and can be used to allow your spectators to get an idea as to where you are in the game and what kind of progress you've made. It shows things such as how far you've traveled, how many enemies you've killed, and how many collectibles you've found. That covers it. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you guys play Rise of the Tomb Raider November 10th.